saints, um, I had another dream. And I'm going to try to make this under seven minutes and not stretch it for full 15. Excuse me. I work today the second shift. That's why I'm here during the day. But I had a dream that I saw the United States on a map. And it was like a 3D dimensional map on a screen. So I saw the map, United States looked the way it does now, you know, together. Not, it's not, it's not together, like, we know the United States is divided, but it looked the way it does on a, on a map. Nothing is out of place yet. But in the dream, I saw chunks of the United States being moved out of place. There was a hole in the middle of the United States, and I had this dream before. There was um, a whole chunks, like gaps in the northeast where Vermont is. The southwest was broken off and the northwest. There was like three slits in the United States with a bunch of gaps. I heard a voice say, I will divide and destroy the land of the merchants that leads the horses against my nation. I will destroy all that come against my nation. The land of milk and honey, the apple of my eye. The land of Jacob, Israel. And the dream ended. Now before I release this to you, you know we all have to test the spirits, and I want you to do the same thing. I want you to test the spirits. Do not trust me when I say, you go straight to Jesus Christ, but this dream was scary. And uh, I'm trembling. That's how scary it was, and the voice was so loud. When the voice spoke with such authority, such boldness, such righteous anger. And the voice also told me to warn the church that I'm coming. And that if I didn't warn you, the blood was on my hands. Now I know that that was Jesus Christ. And I'm scared of the Father. Very scared. So when I woke up, I prayed to the Lord. And I said, Father. Please have mercy on my life, on me. Forgive me. I'm struggling and I need your help. And I will do as you say. And I will warn them. But the enemy can pretend to be an angel of light. And I'm asking Father for a sign that that was from you. I look, you see, ladies and gentlemen, I keep the audio Bible playing. It was playing Luke chapter 2 first. My audio Bible has never done this before, but it skipped by itself. My sons can attest to it because they heard it. And it skipped all the way to Joel chapter 2. Joel chapter 2 talks about the day of the coming of the Lord when all of the nations come up against Israel <clears throat> and the Lord destroys them. Then I went from, that was in my son's room. Then I went into the master bedroom to clean up a little bit. And the Lord gave me another sign without me even asking. And that Situation Zechariah chapter 12 was playing, saying how Israel is going to become a cup of a burdensome cup of trembling, a, a burdensome. I'm trying to describe this to you, I'm paraphrasing, but it was going to become a, a burdensome cup of trembling to the world, meaning Israel is going to be hated by the nations. Then 
I was like, wow, am I scared? Thank you, Father, for answering me. That's never happened to me before, ladies and gentlemen. Ever. Ever happened to me before. Then I get an email from a sister in Christ. And she was saying to me, how there were these massive floods in West Virginia. Um, in the small area of San Bernardino, California, that area there, I think it's somewhere in Southern California, that there was more than 3,000 earthquakes in a week, and that's never happened before. The Lord says in the Word that there's going to be earthquake in diverse places. The seas will be roaring. He said that too. But that's another sign that He's coming. And that Israel will be hated. Hated. More than ever. So I took that as another sign. And here's where it gets even more interesting before I close this broadcast out. She told me she had a vision. She told me in the vision. She saw Netanyahu. And this is where it gets more interesting and it's very astonishing. Being defiant before the United Nations. Defiant meaning the UN handed some kind of decree down and she said that it looks like Netanyahu was resisting. The only words that she heard is, I can't agree with this. Israel will be no more. And that was it. And another sister in Christ. And that, now this sister that I'm telling you about, her name is Brenda. If she wishes to share her testimony with you, that would be up to her. But I'm not giving out her last name. She asked me that, and I'm honoring her request. Another sister, Viola, and I'm not giving out her last name. She said that she had a vision that she saw black clouds outside, and she was in my home praying with other people. And her mom was here, too. I was reminded of that vision by the Lord of her vision, the other vision her sister told me, which I took as another sign from God. The point of this, ladies and gentlemen, is that the United States is going to pay the heaviest price for dividing the land of Israel because the United States was set as the head of nations in the Bible. If you look at the scriptures, how history was, was, history was repeating itself, Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. Babylon <clears throat> ruled the world and were the head of nations in that time. Nebuchadnezzar was a righteous king and he was blessed. But in this case, the leader of the Babylon of this age, the United States, Obama, is not righteous. And he's being defiant. Now God removed the kingdom from Nebuchadnezzar temporarily one time and restored it to him because Nebuchadnezzar was righteous. He repented, you know. He repented and acknowledged Jesus Christ as Lord of all. He was corrected for idolizing himself and false gods. But then he repented for that. History is repeating itself where the United States is being stripped. The kingdom is being taken away. It's being divided. It's being scattered to the winds. Because Obama is defiant to God. Obama hates Israel. Not just him, the entire world. The Lord is saying that Joel chapter 2 and Zechariah 12, that's going to happen. He was showing me what's going to happen to the United States. The United States is going to pay the heaviest price. Because the United States is leading this campaign against Israel. The United States, God said as a protector of Israel. God said the United States as a head of nations. But the United States betrayed God and betrayed Israel. The United States is leading a campaign against Israel. So God is turning God is turning the tables, meaning God is judging America. You have um 
Oh, I'm at 10 minutes with this video. I'm sorry, guys. Just going to give you a few examples. Um, this homosexual agenda, totally defiant to God. Allowing of abortion. Now they're talking about legalizing pedophilia. That it would be a hate crime to call someone a pedophile. You know how crazy that sounds? They're calling good evil and evil good. Look, Jesus told me to warn you all, and I'm warning you. Well, he said the blood's in my hands. Now I advise you to take this to the Lord in prayer and test the spirits, even mine. But he's coming. He told me to tell you all to look at the signs around you. Look at everything, the extreme weather patterns. Look at everything. The signs in the heavens, the moon, the stars. Look at it. I told you about the two suns. I told you about all that. I told you about how um, this country is in a third world war. And they're not telling you nothing. That's never happened. I've never seen things this bad. And I'm not trying to put fear in you. Because God gave you a spirit, of, uh, sorry, a spirit of bravery. If you want to fear something, you have a righteous fear in Christ Jesus. But I'm warning you people. Because a lot of people don't believe Jesus is coming. The Lord told me that a lot of people are not going to be ready when he comes. A lot of people are not going to be saved because they don't believe. Okay? So he sets watchmen like me, like you, like others to warn the masses. What you do with this information is up to you. I urge you to test the spirits and take a look at the signs around you. The mass animal deaths. The stream weather patterns that scientists cannot explain. The extreme storm scientists cannot explain. The two suns in the sky that they're hiding from you. These are major signs and there's more. Brothers and sisters in Christ are getting warnings from the Father. The Lord said in the book of Acts, I believe, He's going to pour out His Spirit. And you still have to test the spirits, even in that regard. I didn't mean to stretch this video this far. I wanted to make it 7 to 10 minutes, but I feel like this is something the Lord commanded me. Now I feel the Lord commanded me to tell you this. Now, my hands are washed clean. Lord saying my soul is delivered because I warned you all. He is coming. I can't get any clearer than that. You have to get your house in order. Things are happening at a very fast pace, very rapidly, and they're not going to stop. They're not going to stop. All I can tell you to do, and I'm calling for believers worldwide to pray for our nation, to pray for the world, to pray for the lost, to pray for the land of Israel, to pray that God has mercy on our nation and the people, to pray like you never prayed before, fast like you never fasted before, repent and get on your knees and ask God to have mercy and hopefully Christ Jesus will show mercy. But here's the thing. Bible prophecy is still going to happen. We're still going to see perilous times. But maybe God will show mercy to those that are willing to repent to Him from their heart. 